Let's take a look how to make RGB spheres here in Illustrator. Step number one, I'm gonna go to the colors, I'm gonna swap it so the fill is gonna be black, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top. And first thing I'm gonna do is a rectangle. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a rectangle. Let's go and select the color, select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. Now we're gonna go to the gradient, activate the gradient, and I'm gonna select the radial gradient. I also gonna go click here to add another handle, double click on it, and change up the color. I'm gonna go with the purple, and I also gonna select the white, double click, change it up. I'm gonna go with the purple, and I'm gonna make it really light, something like that. Now, press the letter G and I'm gonna pull it from here all the way down to the left. So this would be like the very first sphere. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Or you also can go to Edit, Paste in Front. This is gonna paste another copy on the top of the circle. And let's go to this purple and we're gonna change up the color, double click. And I'm thinking to make it blue. And let's go to opacity, decrease it to zero. And I'm also gonna double click on this light color and change up the color. I'm gonna make it more bluish. And we're gonna go and swap it with this little button. So now you can see the bottom is light and the top area is dark. But I don't want this dark area here, so I'm gonna go to the opacity and change it to lighten. So this way it's swapped with the bottom color. And what I'm gonna do is pull this diamond to the right and check this out. It is going to make the globe even more realistic looking. And I'm gonna select the circle, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F again. And now what I'm gonna do is drag this middle handle, drag it down so it's gonna disappear. I'm also gonna go and double click on this light color and change it. I'm gonna go with yellow. And I'm gonna double click on this one, make it orange, decrease the opacity to zero. And I'm gonna bring the diamond to the right. So this way I'm gonna decrease the yellow and I'm gonna start rotating from the bounding box and I'm gonna push it on the left top side. You also can press the letter G to customize it a little bit more, you know, and just bring this. I think I like this. Now let's select it, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F and I'm gonna rotate it maybe on the right side. Look at that. And let's change up the color again. I'm gonna go with some magenta and I'm gonna bring the diamond a little bit in. I'm gonna press Ctrl C, Ctrl F again, rotate it again, change up the color again. I'm gonna make it blue, actually cyan. I'm also gonna change up the orange to cyan and I'm gonna change up the blend mode now. I'm gonna go with overlay and this is basically gonna create that neon effect on the globe. I'm gonna press Ctrl C, Ctrl F again, rotate it again, and I'm gonna press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And here I'm gonna go with white and then black. Pull the diamond in the middle and I'm gonna press the letter G and just bring it something like that or swap it. Actually, this is what I want to be swapped. Press the letter G and just reposition it and adjust it how you like. Check it out. If you pull up the diamond, it is gonna make it look even more realistic. And now, but least I'm gonna select it again. Press Control C, Control F. Check it out. I think this way looks even better. I gotta leave it how it is. And I'm also gonna select everything. Press Control C and I'm gonna go to Photoshop. Press Ctrl V, small object, click OK, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. Oh man, it's lagging. Double click release. And I'm gonna go to the filter, noise, add noise, make it noisy, click OK. And I'm also gonna go to the adjustment, select hue saturation, increase the saturation to make it nice and colorful. And that's how I made this RGB crystal sphere here in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks for watching. <laughs>